The announcement is music to the ears of passengers like Jerry Curry and her sons who are flying to Orlando. We're a pretty mobile world at this point, so we all carry at least one, if not two, mobile devices. The FAA will now allow passengers to use smartphones, tablets, and e-readers from takeoff through landing as long as they're in airplane mode or connected to the plane's in-flight Wi-Fi. Cell phones cannot be used for talking or texting. FAA Administrator Michael Huerta says he's confident government and industry testing has proven the change is safe. Most commercial airplanes can tolerate radio interference from portable electronic devices. But the committee found that in some instances of low visibility, about 1% of all flights, some landing systems may not be proven to tolerate the interference. In those instances, passengers will be told to power down their devices, but a union representing 50,000 pilots says it remains concerned that relying on passengers to turn off their devices selectively in areas of extremely poor weather is not a practical solution. The electronics restrictions were put in place in 1966 amid concerns about interference from FM radios. Flight attendant Christina Hull says the change is long overdue. I've never understood the reasoning over the 26 years that I've been flying. I'm like, you know, we've asked the pilots before, so don't, you know, why do we have to turn these off? And they're like, uh. To move forward, airlines have to submit plans to the FAA, and carriers are already rushing to do that. The FAA says new policies could be approved by the end of the year. Jeff Pagase, CBS News, Washington.